Fall River is flowing at its lowest level on record. I'm walking in what used to be part of the springs that feed the Fall River. It's completely dry here. We've been running a uh, stream gauge station on Fall River, which is a spring-fed uh, tributary to the Deschutes River, uh, for 85 years, since 1938. And the flows that we're seeing coming out of those headwater springs today are the lowest on record. The Fall, Deschutes, and Metolius Rivers are predominantly spring-fed. It takes years for the snow that melts into the ground each winter to travel through miles of volcanic rock before it emerges from hundreds of springs. Even though the region received average water from last winter's snowpack, it's the three previous winters below average snowpacks that are manifesting this summer. We've had to curtail to 60% because the live flow in the river is uh, dropping further than we've ever seen in the last 100 years. Central Oregon Irrigation District is the senior water rights holder in the basin. But even so, it's more than 3,000 farmers and ranchers are going to be lucky if they get about half their usual water allotment for the rest of summer. But what they'll see is they're, when they're trying to put water on their fields, their pond's drying up faster. Uh, or a flood irrigator not being able to push the water across the field. It will be noticeable. Low flows didn't stop William from having a big day on the Fall River. 11 fish. Doing what? Just fly fishing with the old nymph rig, you know, put it right in front of their face and they eat it. While drought conditions have improved from extreme and exceptional to severe in recent months, the long-term precipitation trends are what drive the springs that feed the Deschutes River, and those flows are continuing to diminish. It took several years of drought conditions to get us into this predicament. It'll take several wet years to get us out. Brooks Navely, Central Oregon Daily News.